Yes, hello. Hi, this is Nancy Drew calling from Washington, D.C. I'm trying to reach Prudence Rutherford, please. Oh, yes. Franklin told me you'd be calling. Such dreadful news about Beach Hill. I will do everything in my power to help you catch those rapscallions. To think how they violated the sanctity of my domicile. Good heavens. I'm sorry to hear about your loss. What can you tell me about the necklace? I can't even think about it. Oh, just the very thought of my precious necklace gone, stranded, orphaned, and in the hands of some dirty stranger makes my blood boil. Was the necklace a gift? I inherited it from my mother-in-law. But you see, the necklace means much more to me than just a handful of priceless rubies. More? In what way? I had the necklace restrung to include an exquisite jade carving as the centerpiece, a genuine artifact of the ancient Maya. The carving is not only one of a kind, but a Rutherford family heirloom given to me by my great-grandfather when I was just a little girl. What does the jade piece look like? It features a rare glyph. No one's been able to give me a precise translation, but most epigraphers have agreed that it has something to do with a snake, the color green, and the direction south. It's terribly fascinating. About the theft, where were you when it took place? At 3 a.m.? Well, I was home, of course. Lost in sweet slumber. I don't grace the social circuit the way I used to. That brazen fiend crept right into the bedroom and took my necklace away. Where was I? Picking peaches in the fruit-laden orchards of my dreams. I feel like such a fool. Was anything else taken besides the necklace? Nothing. Not even my brand new Dada. Synesthetic, interactive, organic journey. Ha! I always knew Dada was overrated. One moment, dear. Off. Off the sofa, you nasty beast. Now! What are you doing? What did I say about the sofa? Bad, bad, naughty bad. I'm sorry, dear. What was I saying? About the theft. Oh, yes. Oh, they must have known. The rest of my valuables were left untouched. Frankly, I don't know whether to be grateful or insulted. What about evidence? The first thing I saw when I opened my eyes was this positively ghoulish red handprint on the wall. I nearly jumped out of my skin. A red handprint was left at the scene of the crime at Beach Hill, too. Ms. Rutherford, I'm almost certain that these robberies were committed by the same person. But why? What is so special about these carvings? Ms. Rutherford, it would be so helpful if I knew exactly what your carving looked like. Could you send me a picture that shows it in detail? I can do better than a photo. The insurance company made this dreadful replica of the necklace with the idea that I would wear such a thing to public functions. Please! But I could send that to you if you'd like. Oh, that would be wonderful. How soon could you have it here? You have it tomorrow or the next day. My secretary will have the address of the museum. Now, if that is all you will require, young lady, I will need to attend to other pressing matters. Thanks a million, Miss Rutherford. I won't let you down. Call me Prudence. Oh, and Nancy, when you find the villains who did this to me, do me a favor. And give them a sound thrashing. I sure will. Goodbye.
Buenos dias. Have you heard? The police received an anonymous tip and they're considering Joanna a prime suspect in the Bacall theft. They've taken her in for questioning. I called in that tip. She lied about the cinnabar, and you may not know this, but she has jeopardized the museum's finances with all of her wheeling and dealing. Why should she not be questioned? How did she jeopardize museum finances? I am not at liberty to say. I need to know the Nahuatl word for snake. Can you help me? What do you need that word for? Uh, I'd rather not say. It's part of my investigation. Now, if only I could remember the word for snake. I hear you have been a great help to Henrik. I wonder if you can help me improve my memory, too. Something tells me this translation is going to come with strings attached. I am almost certain that the provenance documents for the Pakal carving were falsified. I have asked Joanna to see the documents, but she evades me. If you can find that file in her office and bring it to me, I think it might help my memory of Nahuatl a lot. First you tell me you are unconcerned about the theft of the Pakal carving, and now you have an urgent need to see the provenance documents? Is it just me, or is this a little suspicious? If I can determine that the provenance documents are a fraud, this will be the first major step toward legal repatriation of the artwork, whenever and wherever it resurfaces. Okay, Alejandro. I'll see what I can do. I feel my Nahuatl coming back to me already. Do you know what Siwapili means? Princess or lady. Now, if only I could remember the word for snake. I should get back to the museum. Yes, you should. Hello, Nancy. You have a special delivery for me, I hope? Here's your file, as requested. Good work, my friend. I suppose you would like something in return? A deal's a deal. The Nahuatl word for snake is coatl. C-O-A-T-L. I should get back to the museum. Yes, you should. Nancy, you have brought me back to my work. You recognize the riddle then? I've been working like a fiend. Look at the board. There's Henrik's password. This has something to do with the plot at the museum, Nancy. I'm sure of it. What is the prison of stone? It's a tomb. Pakal called it a prison because it was designed to prevent the Whisperer's soul from entering the underworld. Why did Pakal want to imprison the Whisperer's soul? The Whisperer came from a distinguished line of royal scribes. I can't seem to remember her name. But I do recall that she wrote an account of Maya history that greatly angered Pakal because of the way it depicted his ascent to the throne.
How did Pakal wish to be depicted? From the age of 12, when he came to the throne, Pakal claimed to be divinely appointed the first true authentic king of the Maya. Then the whisperer came along and wrote that Pakal was only king because his mother pulled some strings. It was quite a blow to Pakal's image. What happened to the scribe's writings? Pakal swore that the whisperer's words would never see the light of day. He put her body, her soul, and her writings all in a tomb and locked it up tight. Does this mean that the monolith is hollow inside and, and full of bones? That's the idea. Do you think the monolith can be opened? Good question. I'm certain that there's a dirty rat trying to get into that tomb. But this is where my memory fizzles out. If I could only figure out why I took the Bacal. Do you think there is anyone I can trust? Please don't breathe a word of this. There's too much at stake. Henrik, I need to know where you put the Pakal carving. I don't know. Can you tell me what the password is to your disc? You're asking the wrong amnesiac. You rest up. I'll be back. I'll do my best. I'm not sure I can hold on to these stones for very much longer. I've got to put these things down. The poem said, when the first king ascends again.
It's locked. YouTube went out.
encendido. Transmítelo ahora. Entregaremos el paquete lo más pronto posible. Cambio y fuera. 